Hi everybody and welcome to my Corvette channel. And I think it goes without saying that we're committed and we're passionate about you and this car. Thanks for joining us. Today on the channel, we're going to talk about what's included in your first service on your C8 Corvette and when you're supposed to do it. Oh, look who's back from vacation. All chipper too. I think Ricky needs one. Oh yeah, he does, trust me. <laughs> okay, enough out of you. <laughs> People just uh -huh. want to see you back on the channel, they saw you. Okay, uh, we're yes. done. Hey, thanks, welcome back everybody. <laughs> Actually, Chuck's watching Nate work. Yeah. Um, drove my car for the first time yesterday and I told you, once he gets it up in the air, I'm gonna show you what I screwed up. Uh, it's not as bad as what I thought it was, but I did screw up some other stuff in this car. Uh, well, he's doing that. I'll show you, you guys can't see it. But I had the camo stuff from Sunday's video on the car, and yeah, glue residue. So we've got some detail and work to get that off the car. Almost, not entirely, but almost regretted doing that video because of the crap that I had to go through to get the stuff off the car, get it on the car. You're gonna see the making of that vlog on this Sunday's Coffee with Conti, but I can tell you this, I will never, Chuck, I'm telling you too, I will never do that again to my car, ever. I'm surprised I didn't get a call to come get you out of jail. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and me too. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't have Ryan with me though. <laughs> but the piece that I screwed up is here. More on that here in just a second. So we're doing the oil change and the DCT filter change today. That's kind of the gist of today's video is to let you guys know what you need to do on your first service and when to do your first service on your C8 Corvette. So how was vacation? Too short, as always. Right. But other than You've that, had two good. and three weeks, are you kidding me? Yeah. <laughs> Would have been more, but they wouldn't let me. Welcome back. The plant <laughs> shut down and we have no Corvettes coming in. Uh, really? <laughs> For real. Oh yeah. That's a big question is how long they're going to be shut down. So. Why we talked time? about that a little bit in Sunday. It's, it's a culmination of things, dude. I mean, why this time? It's like, it's, it, it's not what this time, it's still. Well, yeah. This, that, and the other thing. That's what's going on. Sure. All right, so when I did that camel car you guys saw on Sunday, it was so much fun. And anywhere that I was making contact with Gorilla Tape, I wanted it to be on the camel wrap. Well, this piece right here had a little Gorilla Tape on it, and it was so hot in Detroit when we filmed that. Ryan wanted to get the stuff off. I was gonna actually leave. No, what do you guys think? I was gonna leave the car all wrapped up in that camo, and I was gonna drive it like that in the Memorial Day Parade just because it adds to that GM mystique. Would that have been stupid or no? Be I honest. Thought, I thought it was funny. Okay, you thought it was funny. What do you think? I don't know. The longer you left it on, the harder it was to get off. No, I, think. I, I know. No, my wife said, that's stupid. Take that stuff off. So anyways, we ended up taking it off. And as Ryan pulled this piece off, this whole piece came out of the front bumper. And I was worried, looking at the schematic, that it's really this piece and not this, that there's screws back in here that holds it on. These were just tabs that slid in there, but it was really bad. I'll show you a quick picture here. So I didn't drive in the parade because that piece was hanging off and I was afraid it was gonna get worse and break all this because this is all connected. So I farted around with it and looked at it closely and I was able to snap it back in there but when pushing this up and in, yes, you can see there, I ripped my uh, clear bra. So I'm gonna have to get new clear bra on. Wham, wham, whatever. Okay, it's what I get, right, right. But Nate is our technician today. Ooh. Chuck has snacks and is watching. Uh, oil change, uh, by the time you're watching this clip, he's already done the oil change, so now you're gonna do the DCT filter change, correct? Yep. And check the fluid if you have to top it off, is that correct? Yeah, you will. All right, and that's really essentially you have to do that. Yep. So oil change in that, and that'll be it for the first service, correct? Yep. Okay, so I'm doing this much earlier than we should, and that's the point of today's video, to let you guys know you don't have to do this as we did on C7, at 500 miles. Really, the owner's manual says do it at 7,500 miles or within the first year or change your oil if it tells you to do so up on your dash, depending on how you're driving. If you're doing more frequency of city driving, yes, it's going to deplete that oil a little faster. So I'm doing mine around, what do I got, about 3,300 on mine, I think, right now? I think so. Okay, so about 3,300, typical Corvette 
what? <laughs> These guys. I'm just shaking his head. He's like, he's like, yeah, all right. He's just, yeah, all right. <laughs> Typical Corvette guy. Got to break all the rules, but I'm doing it 3300. And I want to show you guys what the filter looks like that comes out of it. It'd probably be pretty decent because I'm not waiting to the 7500. But I want you to see that, and we're going to put the new fluid in. And then we're going to get into some great looking cars. You guys emailed a ton. Can't get them in all this week. A ton of beautiful rides. That's coming up here in just a second. Is this really through warranty? Oh, this is. <laughs> <laughs> so knows. You're watching the channel too closely. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Only if you're in extreme track conditions, which I won't be in. <laughs> Especially after I did. Wait till you guys see the video we did on launch control. Uh, that actually scared the crap out of me. I, I can't wait to share that with you guys. <laughs> I did, man. Here's what's important too. Some of you guys have reached out to me on your first service getting your oil change. Dealers are charging people for this DCT filter change that is included with your first service. Check out page 295 and 296 of the owner's manual. See that cap with the four inverted cords? Oh, on yeah, it? there it is. Mm -hmm. Found it. And. But you can't get to it, though, unless you take this off, correct? Yeah, you got to take that whole panel off. Okay. And the drain plug's right up here beside the axle, or I mean the fill plug. Ow. Put that rack there. Oh, to check the fluid level? Yeah. Okay. And um, <laughs> we're not even going to tell you how many takes it took to get the panel off. Panels. Pan yeah, panels are off. Chucky, while you're over here for your cigarette break, uh, show us where the DCT filter is. It's housed right here. Yes, sir. All right. Thought you're going to have to let the car down again. <laughs> <laughs> the time lapse. For the tenth <laughs> time. No, I'm not going to. He wants me to do a time lapse and all that. I don't want to. <laughs> do that to you guys but thank you for watching we ain't got enough room on the card to tie my right back. exactly <laughs> and the, what we're talking about what you didn't see is we had to take the card down and up and down because of where these pucks are it made it hard to get to the bolts to take these panels off so it was a reposition several times several right reposition, reposition. that was like me driving in detroit two weekends ago major freeways had detours and then the detour had a detour. I'm like, okay, now where am I going? Nuts. And I really have not driven this car hard, and I don't intend to do so. Well, that's why, if I may reference the Detroit video one more time, is why we didn't get pulled over in the camel cars, because I didn't give them any reason to pull me over. I drove the speed limit. I wasn't screwing around. I already been driving around with a camouflage. Right, I already had enough attention Fake to myself. License plate. Right, exactly, thanks. <laughs> here's our first filter kit, guys. Oh, here's with the, the kit. filter. A new O-ring and new bolts. One time use only. Need oh, new place. bolts. Okay. Yep. All right. Didn't know that. Yep. So those bolts he just took out, those are garbage. Throwaways. Okay, good. That's yeah, good to know. Wah! <laughs> it's not much up in there. Just enough to fill the filter. That's just all it takes to fill up this filter. All right, just for comparison, here you go, guys. 3,300 miles, brand new. DCT transmission filters. Of course, over time, they're, they're going to get dark anyways. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they'll get darker just from the fluid, if nothing right. else. Right, exactly. So it's not like this looks bad. It yeah. looks bad just by looking at it, but, I mean, yeah. that's it's well, doing what it's supposed not, to do. Fluid's not perfectly white. Exactly, yeah, so. nothing's in there. But it still looks pretty good, though, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, there's nothing in it. No chunks of nothing in there. That's good. All right. It's always good. So again, that's included in your first service, and then he'll top off the fluid. All right, and this is the DCT cover plate. And is this one? Yeah, I was going to say, this is the one that gets the new O-ring. Okay. that out of there. All right, so Nate's putting it back in. New screws go in, new O-ring goes in. We'll top it off. Bolt her back up and uh, Ricky will be ready to roll. So these do have a specific torque spec too when these go back on you guys. Yep. So this is not anything that you want to do at your at your home unless you have this stuff. 
And I know I'm upside down. It's got to be at what again, Nate? 53 inch pounds. Okay. All right, so you guys get an idea of why we're taking the car down again. If you would be so kind, gentlemen, to tell them before he actually puts the fluid into the transmission to top it off, what do you got to do now, Nate? Uh, we got to cycle the transmission through each gear for 30 to 45 seconds. Okay. What, what that does is push the fluid back into the clutch packs. Okay. So that because after you shut it down, all the fluid drains out of them. Gotcha. So you won't get a proper fill if you check it without running it through the gears, filling the clutch packs back up, just redistribution of the transmission fluid through the transmission. Then within five minutes, you shut it off, check it, and top it. After five minutes, you'd have to repeat it again because in less than five minutes, five minutes or so, the fluid's going to drain back out of the clutch packs. Gotcha. So. You still haven't smoked that cigarette? Yeah, no. That's good. Everybody wants you to stop anyway, so that's perfect. Throw <laughs> the damn thing out. <laughs> okay. As, as we can see, it took just about a half, maybe a little, little over a half of a quart to refill it. Well, it's always good to have Chuck and Nate on the channel. Thanks for watching today, you guys. I hope you enjoyed today's upload. Real quick, Corvette production news. It's a transmission issue that we're dealing with. They're trying to get as many parts in as they possibly can so they can go back to work on June 7th or June 14th. That'll be great news because ultimately we want to put you right here behind the wheel. Appreciate you guys hanging in there. And thanks for all the great emails. We're about to show off some fantastic cars right now. I can't I can't fit them all in this week. We'll rotate in as many as we possibly can. These now are your beautiful rides. Support us by subscribing, thumbs up the video, and make those comments down below. Thanks again for watching. And I didn't understand